We're back. <laughs> what is up, gang? Welcome back to another episode of Oh My Way. For those who don't know what Oh My Way is, Go back one video. I made a whole video explaining what On My Way is and what it's going to be. I'm going to leave the link in the description and there will be a card somewhere in this video for you to click it. There's a whole introduction. We're explaining a little bit of my background, what I've been up to in the last four years and where I want to take this whole project. For those who don't know me, I'm Joao. I'm 22 years old, born and raised in Brazil. I've lived everywhere. In the past four years, I feel like I've lived in like 11 different countries or some shit like that. We talked about it in the first video of On My Way. Go check that out. I am an artist. I make music. Very good music. I actually have an EP dropping in June. My Heart's Eulogy. Stay tuned. I also have my first single dropping in May. And it's insane. Without further ado, let's get into the video. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the creative process, how I personally like to create, how ideas for songs start, what is the step-by-step -step of a song from like the idea up until the time of release. We're gonna talk about the progress, where I started and where I am now. We're also gonna talk about where I see this project going, where I wanna take Joao. Joao is not only my name, but it's the name of this project. And at the very end, we're going to explain what the next episode is going to be about. And we're also going to be teasing my second single. We're going to do two singles before we drop the EP. And we're going to tease the second one here on this video. What is the creative process in my point of view? But like the whole creative process starts with an idea. What is an idea? Anything. I feel like ideas are literally just energy flowing around. They come in here, you can execute it, or you can just think, okay, cool, whatever, and they will go on to the next person. Whatever you think is worth betting on, worth putting your time on, do it. Because you never know, everything started with an idea. That's why, in my opinion, like your mind is the most powerful thing in the world, because it all starts here. Everything else is just technicalities and finding ways of executing it. Okay, so now you had your idea, you have a vision for it, you already know what you want to do, but you don't know how to do it. Step one. Oh, this is like the fifth time I dropped this guitar today. Holy fuck. Make sure you keep some kind of record of your idea, right? Whether it's a voice recording, a video, a photo, a note on your notes folder, a note on your notebook, whatever it is, because as fast as they come, they go. There has been so many times where I was like in the studio or trying to write a new song and I had a crazy idea for a melody or something and I waited 10 seconds too long to catch it and it was gone. I was like, fuck. <laughs> so make sure you keep some kind of record of your ideas. Personally, most of my song ideas, they come from me and this beautiful baby right here or my other guitar. So gang. She came back from the gym and I had this new idea for a new song. trying to figure out what sounds cool, what makes me feel something, what does that make me feel. So in my creative process, that's kind of like how an idea is born. 
I sit down with that rhythm, with those chords, and I'm like, okay, what sounds good in this melody? You start arranging the song, you're like, okay, this is gonna be a cool verse, and this is gonna be cool for the chorus, and maybe this is gonna be a nice bridge. Another thing that really helps is making a concept. So what do we wanna talk about on these songs? Not everybody creates like that, but I like that, that step by step. That's how I learned too, so. Then after having the concept, you can go and finish writing the song. You already know what you want to talk about. You can start fitting the words into the melodies that you created. You know, see how they sit on the arrangement, if they sound cool, if they sound lame. After the song is written, the idea is tracked. Now it's time to actually professionally record it and polish that idea. Add things that you want to add. Maybe a cool synth, a cool drum pattern, a nice bass line. Whatever you wanna to add to it, now it's time to do it. And up until the time it's released, there's so much that goes into it. I personally listen to my songs and to my ideas every single day, sometimes three or four times a day. Hi! We're doing, we're doing the last few tweaks on the EP. Okay, Friday day, and guess what I'm gonna spend the weekend doing? Working. Gotta get this EP delivered. Let's hear it. I mean, granted, I can listen again. My brain always hears something. I want you to tell me what you think, and then I'll go in and like listen and dress exactly what you think. And if I hear something as a byproduct, I'll be like, oh shit. But I feel pretty strong that they're all pretty good. But up until the moment where I'm like, okay, this is great. I go back and forth on shit all the time and listen to it thousands of times. After it's mixed, mastered, you created your cover art, you have an idea for your visuals, then it's time to release it. That's why it takes so much time to actually release a whole project because you have to do all of that with a number of songs so many times. A lot of people ask me like, how do you write your songs? You know, what is these stories that you tell in your music? It's like, bro, that's all real shit. 99% of my songs, those things have actually happened to me. I feel like that's the inspiration behind it. It's like life, you know, I'm living life. I'm going through all this shit. I'm a very intense person. I dive into shit head first sometimes. And you know, that's cool, but it can also bite you in the ass. That's just what it is. It's like, telling my story. Some advice I would like to give other creatives that maybe are looking for advice or they're looking to start or like are feeling lost is like, dude, just tell your story. And there's a lot of other people that might relate to your stories. I feel like a lot of people, they look for inspiration outwards and they're trying to paint this idea or persona or like, you know, they don't walk like they talk. <laughs> we all have beautiful, interesting stories. We're all unique in a certain way. So really look inside, get to know yourself, and that will show in your art. I think that's a, that's a good advice. And with that being said, do not forget to learn your craft. I cannot stress that enough. Dedicate time, dedicate energy. Make sure you know what you're doing. You know, I've been the guy that didn't know what he was doing and that thought he knew what he was doing and it's, it doesn't feel good, bro. Like I've been playing guitar now for four years. This is what it was like when it started. Pretty bad, isn't it? And this is kind of what I sound like now. <laughs> There's still a long way to go. I play guitar sometimes two, three hours a day. And like there's so many ways of learning the guitar nowadays. You don't necessarily need a teacher if you can't afford it. You can literally go on YouTube and get like free lessons. If you're trying to sing, you know, do vocal lessons, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been the guy that thought he could sing, got up on stage and he couldn't sing for shit. Thank the Lord. I went back and I started doing vocal lessons. If that's something you really wanna do, 
Take your time and learn it. You can go from sounding like this. It takes time to fix a broken heart, fuck that is all lies. I'm fine, live a motherfucking rock star life. Tonight, tonight. To sounding like this. Yes, that is what it sounded like in the beginning. When I first started singing and I really thought I was the shit, I thought I could sing, I thought I was good, and I kept trying to convincing people that I was good, but the truth is, I had never taken the time to learn it. You know, maybe the tone was there, maybe the voice was there, but it, it needed some polish. It needed to be worked on, it needed to be brought out. If you can't afford vocal lessons, there is still YouTube academies for vocal exercises or vocal warm-ups that can help you at least get an idea of how to use your voice. I would definitely advise if you want to be a singer, try to look for a vocal coach because they will do stuff that is personalized for you. They will help you find your sound. You can be like, hey, this is kind of like how I want to sound. Is there a specific technique for that? And that person will be able to help you more than a YouTube thing would. But you can still learn a lot from YouTube. With technology, there's so much free knowledge out there. We got to use it to our advantage. You don't want to be that guy going up on stage feeling like you're doing everything right. <laughs> I'm saying this from personal experience. I did a show once. I thought I was so ready. I thought that I was so good. Especially at the time too. Like I thought I fucking killed it. But this is how it actually went. I know. <laughs> I don't know who let me take over that stage. You know, I don't know how I had the courage to go up there and do that. I don't know how my family and friends had the courage to go there and support me. That doesn't make you a bad artist. That doesn't make anyone that has had a night like that on stage, a bad artist. Just means that either you had a bad day or you just weren't ready enough. But that's how it is usually when you start. You gotta start somewhere. You're only going to learn how to perform by performing. Don't be discouraged when maybe you sound like shit one day. It's all good, we all have bad days. Happens to everybody. The important thing is to just keep going. It's that crazy cliche corny fucking phrase. Remember the guy that gave up? No, neither does anyone else. I know it sounds cheesy, but it is very true. It is a journey. It takes time. It is painful sometimes, but it's also beautiful. So keep going and make sure you're having fun while you're in the process. That being said, we saw where it all started. We saw where we are now. Where do I want to take this? Joao is so much more than just my name, especially in this context. The project might take my name for now, might change the name down the line, I don't know. But Joao for me means lifestyle, a way of living, a movement, a culture. That's what I want to create around it. I struggled my whole life with the feeling of being good enough. I was always seeking validation. I was always asking people like, oh, do you like that? Do you like me? Do you like I was so worried about making people like me and never ever feeling good enough. Nowadays in society, like the world is so fucking hateful, man. People are constantly like judging each other. People are constantly trying to bring each other down. People are constantly like just killing other people's dreams. Nowadays, people are so scared of dreaming, bro. Like how? That doesn't even make sense. People are so scared of dreaming because other people will tell them like, oh, your dream is unrealistic. Your dream is unachievable. It's not supposed to be fucking realistic. That's why it's called the dream. And I'll tell you what, everything starts with the dream. Amazon was Jeff Bezos' dream. Marvel was Stan Lee's dream. If something keeps you awake at night, if 
that's what you think about when you wake up. That's the last think about when you go to sleep. It's worth pursuing, bro. Fuck it if other people are telling you it's unrealistic. Having a million followers on TikTok was unrealistic at some point. Now I have two million. Me moving out to LA and living in a mansion was unrealistic. It all started with a dream. That's what I want. I want to create a safe space that is moved by love, appreciation, positivity, good vibes. Love is so powerful. I feel like love has the power to change the world. If everybody had a little bit more love in their heart and they share that with the people around them, the world would be such a better place, bro. Simple things can change people's days. Complimenting someone's jacket, asking how they're doing, a smile, a good morning. Little things like that can change the world. And that's what I wanna create with the whole Joao movement. I want to create a safe space where people love each other, they support each other, they appreciate each other, where everyone is good enough by just being themselves and where people feel safe to be themselves, to express themselves and to dream because no one around them will be bashing their dreams to the ground. Everyone around them will be lifting them up and being like, dude, you want to do that? I believe in you. I believe in your dream. Go for it. In the next three, five, 10 years. I want to make this family so big. I want to change the world through the power of love. That's where I see this project going. Fuck, hey, love, love. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to thank everyone also that's like watching at home, everyone that is supporting in any way possible. It means the fucking world to me. Your likes, your comments, your shares, your kind words. I hope that the videos and the stories and things that I'm sharing are really adding value to your life. And let's take this shit to the fucking moon. Let's change the fucking world, dude. With all of that being said, we got to the end of the video and now it's time to tease my second single. Are we ready? My neighbors are going to hate me. It's literally midnight. <laughs> Fuck it. Gaslight me. I'm crazy. You tell your friends you hate me. I'm toxic. You're jaded. Go out your way to break me. This song literally makes me feel like I am in a teenager movie. It's such a fun fucking song. Kyle's guitar solo on the song is insane. Shout out Kyle. Bro, that guitar solo just makes me want to, I don't know, crawl the fucking walls. Like balls to the fucking wall. That's what it makes me feel like. Wow. I can't wait to put that song out. Anyways, guys. That was it for today. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. On the next episode, we're going to be talking about my roots. So where did it all start? You know, a little bit of my childhood, a little bit of my story growing up, moving to Barcelona, playing soccer in Barcelona, how it all started, how I got into music, my first opportunities in the studio. So if you want to know a little bit more about me and about 
how I grew up. Make sure to tune in for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate your love. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next week. Love you.